That's what you call a deal. Good day, YouTube. Today I want to talk about deploying in the military, whether you're active duty or a reservist. I was active duty for almost 10 years, tasked, tasked to deploy my first year to Bosnia. However, because I was new to the military, I didn't have my clearance. And because of that, I couldn't go. So a friend of mine took my place, went to Bosnia for four months, came back, had a great time. Fast forward a few years later, I was tasked to deploy to Turkey. And just as about to, I was getting ready to go to Turkey, my boss said, you're not going to Turkey. You are staying here because he's going to Turkey. So he actually took my deployment to Turkey for four months. Came back, had a good time as well. I've volunteered for two deployments as a reservist and I did not. All right, so I had a technical difficulty when I was making my video earlier in downtown, my SIM card messed up and it's unfortunate because the location was beautiful. I was gonna give you a tour of this very old church style building in downtown Colorado Springs, but no worries. I'll continue with what I was saying. I have, when I went from active duty to the reserves, I did volunteer as a reservist for two different uh, deployments. One of them was to Africa. The other one, I don't remember. I was willing to go anywhere. And my leadership supported me to go on the one for Africa. However, they were a little bit slow. By the time they my application was received, it was too late. Somebody else had already filled it. So I never did deploy uh, as a reservist yet. I'm looking for that in the near future. I will say that as a reservist, a lot of people want to deploy, which means that could be a good thing or a bad thing for you, depending if you want to deploy. That means if you want to deploy, it's going to be challenging to find a slot, but that's not impossible. So you could deploy as a reservist. And if you don't want to deploy as a reservist, maybe somebody else will volunteer to go. The other thing to keep in mind is it will depend on your job. What job will you have or what job do you have in the reserves? Because security forces will deploy maybe once every three years, maybe once every six years or so. But that is an example of they do deploy. There's other career fields as well. So it's going to depend on what career field you are in. Um, deployments are good because that's part of the training. We are trained in the military in general, not just the Air Force, but across all branches. We are trained to deploy. So when we deploy, we can focus on the job as opposed to being stressed. Did I learn how to do the job? If that happens, which I'm sure it happens to a few individuals, that's not a good thing. You want to go into a hostile territory, if it's hostile, because not all deployments are hostile territories, and do your job. Focus on that. That would be an asset to any branch of service that you may be working for. So that's something to think about. Deployments are a part of the military, and uh, that's what we sign up to do. I wish I could say I've deployed. I haven't. I did volunteer to go to Hungary. I did volunteer to go to uh, Greenland. So I've gone to places, England. Yes, people may say those aren't deployments, and I'm not saying they are because they're not deployments, but I'll go wherever the military, in my case, the Air Force sends me, and I've done that since day one. I'm going on 18 years, and I'll proudly do what I'm supposed to do for not only my service, but even better, our country. I hope this helps. Ask questions if you have any. Thank you for your service. Downtown Colorado Springs. 